Hugh McCray Park is a public area belonging to New Hanover County Parks and Gardens. Located just across the street from the University of North Carolina Wilmington, Hugh McCray Park boasts sporting facilities, picnic areas, and over one and a half miles of trails. Hugh McCray Park was assumed to be historically insignificant until a group of students from the University of North Carolina Wilmington stumbled upon a mound with pottery and arrowheads. It was later discovered that these artifacts were remnants of a lost Native American tribe nicknamed the Hugh McCrayans. Cultural Resource Management has tasked a team of historians, anthropologists, and archaeologists to gather as much information as possible about the Hugh McCrayans before the site is demolished. The team's goal is to find artifacts belonging to the Hugh McCrayans that can be used for carbon dating, as well as soil samples that can be used for relative aging. The only existing accounts about the Hugh McCrayans are from early Spanish missionaries who traveled through the area in the 1600s. The missionaries briefly describe an encampment that has a center temple with tents made from skin and bone. The Hugh McCrayans were documented to be hostile towards outsiders, so the Spanish missionaries avoided their encampments. The lack of contact between the Spanish and the Hugh McCrayans leave many mysteries about the lives of this tribe. Initially, a surface survey of the site was performed. Geological maps were used to predict where high amounts of artifacts could be found based on where rainwater may have deposited them. Shovel test pits and core sampling were also used to screen for more potential sites to dig. After annotating areas predicted to have the most artifacts, these areas were cordoned off with stake and string. Holes were dug one to two feet in depth around the base of the trees in search for any relative artifacts. Each dig spot was marked with a sign that includes a reference number to the site's map and any possible remains that are retrieved from the spot. Relative site features were also marked and cataloged. Screening methods were utilized to recover any remains. The artifacts that were recovered were placed in individual marked bags and labeled. Carbon dating was performed on animal skins and bones recovered from the site. Based off of the carbon dating results, it was determined that the Hugh McCrane tribe must have lived from 3,000 to 400 years ago. Small figures were found in the grave sites indicating that the tribe had religious beliefs. Some grave sites on the outskirts of the village had only one or two figures, while the grave sites located towards the interior of the camp had many idols, weapons, and supplies, indicating the presence of a class system. Bones from the grave sites were analyzed for markings and wear patterns. Some bones had markings that indicated decapitation for either sacrificial ceremonies or as a form of corporal punishment. Stone axes were found in the mountain that was thought to be the temple, supporting the hypothesis that the Humacrayans practiced human sacrifice. Animal bones were also found in the area with butchery marks. Some bones were found with animal skin bound to them, indicating that they could have been used to make tents. Coprolites were analyzed, and the results indicated that the Hugh McCrayans ate berries and fish, as well as buffalo. Many of their tools were made from volcanic rock, and since there is no volcanic activity in the area, this indicates that they had developed trade relationships with other tribes. Unfortunately, it appears that other tribes are what led to the downfall of the Humacrayans. 
Evidence of a brutal conflict between the McCrayans and a neighboring tribe can be found by the presence of arrowheads and spearheads in many of the skeletons. The leading hypothesis is that it was a rival tribe that knocked out the Humacrayans.